Hey there, welcome to another Save Your Books video. Today I'm going to be starting to talk about repairing this book. It needs a new spine. So, part of deciding how to put a new spine on this book uh, is deciding what kind of material you want to use to do that. And you could go buy a book cloth, and there are many different kinds of book cloths out there. There's, you can go to talisonline.com or Hollanders, um, and they all have different kinds of book cloth. I'm going to um, change the camera angle and show you some of the different kinds of book cloth that you could use. Okay, so here are just a few of the kinds of things. You can get um, some book cloth from Hiromi Paper. They have a lot of different kinds under their world cloth category. Um, you can go to Talus. They have these really beautiful Japanese ones. Um, they have the Buckram that's kind of more library style. They have Iris book cloth. This is a, a nice paper-backed book cloth. It comes in a lot of different colors. And what's good about this book cloth is that it is thin and, and flat, and so it can make a good spine. Um, it's really hard to get a color that's going to match automatically with um, a book you have in particular. And these may look like they match, but they don't really match. So um, typically with something like this, I'll go with a black just because, you know, the stamping's in black, so you may as well. Talis also carries a non-paperbacked cloth the Kennet, and that's good if you for smaller books because the it has less strength. So you've got the Kennet, the Iris, and actually my very favorite book cloth to use for a new spine is the Canapetta. It has a great texture and um, depth to it. And one of the reasons I like it is that it's easy to work with because when your fingers are all gluey and you might, or wet, and you might um, touch the fabric, the canapetta will actually resist staining because of the, the texture of the thing. You can usually kind of scrape the mark off, or you know, you have more forgiveness with the canapetta. Um, but there are some bad things about it. You can't stamp it as easily, and because it has a texture, um, if you put a label on it, it might be kind of floating above a little bit. So something to think about. So that's a lot of information about book cloth. Um, obviously, you can find more on the Talus website or the um, Hiromi or the Hollanders. Hollanders also carries book cloth. Um, but really, all you need to do to fix a book like this, put a new spine on it, is any fabric store and get a piece of muslin and this is unbleached muslin and it's you know fairly archival because it's unbleached it's cotton and you can dye it any color you want by taking some acrylic paints here's this this is the um, high flow acrylics it's um, nice because they're very 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 fluid so oh, actually I'm just gonna get a different piece I'm just going to practice on this one. I'm just going to show you how the paint works. So this is the high flow acrylics, not even watered down because it's already watered down. It actually soaks all the way through. You don't have to paint the other side. Not that you would have to paint the other side. And then when it dries, um, when it's dry, it, it just works really well. It's just absolutely fine for making a new book cover. It won't uh, it won't smear if you get it wet because it's kind of a plastic thing. That's what acrylic is. So you've got this fabric and it's really floppy and the edges tend to, you know, fray like this. So I don't recommend using just this. What I'm going to recommend is to use this with a lining of Japanese tissue. So I'm going to get that set up and come back. All right, so I painted this muslin, and then I went and got some black tissue, and this, and I'm 
going to need to lift up the edge here. It's okay to cut into the board a little bit. You can get a layer of the board to start coming up. Okay, that's got that's got this pretty good. All right. The very simplest way <clears throat> to repair this with a new spine would be to attach this piece of cloth, and it could be any piece of cloth. Um, you would just glue it all up uh, under there, and then you know wrap it around and glue it under there, and you would want to press it in here with these rods to um, get the cloth to stick in there. The main important thing, if you were going to do it this way, is that you can't attach this to this. The text spine and the case spine, the case of the book spine, they should not be attached. So as long as you only glue, you know, this part and all of this part, that's fine. Don't glue this part, and then you would glue the same thing on this side. And then you would attach this all, and you wouldn't even have to necessarily have turn-ins. You could just go straight across, as long as the cloth is, you know, strong enough. Just literally go underneath there. And you could be done. Like, that would be it. But if you want to do a little bit of a nicer job and have turn-ins, I'm going to show you what turn-ins means before I actually do it. So, let's see. So it has to do with the, um, the book cloth sticking out here. So here I've just got it all tucked in where it's going to go. So then what has to happen is it has to get turned in to the other side. When, when, typically when books are made, the case is made separately than the text block and then they're put together. And so that's what we're trying to kind of do here. So this has to get tucked in here. We don't want it to go over this illustrated area. We want it to go underneath. So once again, we have to lift and make room for it. So we just have to get, you know, get a knife in here because the new book cloth is going to come underneath here. That's where I need it to go. So I'm just making enough room for it. Um, I can actually see that this fluffy bit here is not going to be helpful later, so I'm going to... I'm just going to clean that off now. A little inexact, but that's okay. So those two are opened up far enough I'll be able to make the turn in and stick the cloth down in there. Seems like the key might be to start in the middle there of the spine, work your way towards one direction, and then come back to the middle and go the other way. Although, whatever works is what works. That's the best thing. Glue there. Whew. All right. So now I would just let this dry completely with these um, uh, skewers in place. Okay. And the last thing is just to glue down the flaps, which started to get glued down. Um, 
sometimes a good thing to kind of make sure you're not going to drip onto the cloth. I mean, you're getting in underneath here. And remember not to put too much in here because you don't want a bunch of squeeze out to happen. Okay. Um, this book is done. It has a new spine. Check it out. Okay, so that is putting a simple new spine onto a book. Thanks for watching. Hey there, are you working on a book repair project but you need a little more help? Well, you can go to my Reddit page called The Bindery and we can talk about it. You can also subscribe to my newsletter through my website or just become a member and you'll have access to many more hours of videos um, that are more in-depth and may help you with your project.